Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Live with Luna Love. This is your girl, Luna Love, right here on Raw 704. And guess what? It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite segments, and it is Behind the Business with Luna Love. What exactly is this? This is where I introduce ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And I'm really excited because a lot of times, you know, for me, the most famous people are the people around me. And the people that are really putting boots to the ground and getting stuff done are the amazing people that are in our community. So I love to highlight and I love to reach out and, and talk to business owners within my community. Like, cause it's so important that we know who these people are. It's important that we give them their flowers as well too. But sometimes it's important that we understand what it is that they truly do and what's behind it. Right. Because there's a lot of grinding. There's a lot of praying. There's a lot of failing. There's a lot of lessons. There's a lot of encouragement. There's a lot of disappointment behind being a business owner. So it's very important that I have people come in and tell their story so that it inspires and empowers you guys that's out there. And today I have the amazing pleasure. Now, he is normally the one in interviewing people. So I get to turn this thing around a little bit yeah. and I get to be the person that is interviewing him. So without further ado to my Live with Luna Love listeners, I want you guys to give a big heartfelt what's up to my boy Tariq Crane. What's happening? <laughs> He gas in house, big gas house, head. yes indeed, gas house all the way, all the way. Definitely want to go ahead and shout out his amazing business with it, which is Crank Marketing Agency. That's right, Crank Marketing Agency. I love it. That's like, me. It, I, I love it, and, I, and I've watched the evolution of this um, over the years, and I think it's it's really really amazing. So y'all know how your girl do. I don't I don't waste no time because I'm super excited about digging into Tarek's mind to try to figure out what is behind Crank's marketing agency. So my biggest question to you, because again I've seen you do so. You're a very versatile individual. Thank you. I, you are, and that, you. That, and I'm glad you took that as a compliment because most people don't understand the power of versatility. Mm. You know, in this life, you literally have to be flexible and you have to be many characters with many hats. Mm -hmm. So it's very, mm -hmm. very nice to meet um, someone who is uh, a, a very a professional in versatility. So um, what inspired or motivated you to start Crank Marketing Agency? Um, truthfully, what started what started the, the agency was I was selling cars and I was doing marketing for a dealership in, 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 in town, Gastonia Nissan here mm -hmm. in town. And um, I was doing some fun things on social media, just having some fun. And a buddy of mine, Randolph Scott, was at another store down in um, in uh, Orangeburg, South Carolina. Orangeburg? Yeah, Orangeburg. And he said, can you do what you're doing there at my store? Mm. And I'm working full-time job in Gastonia, and I'm like, I think I can. Go down, shoot the content, I'm done. I made a certain amount of money in that time, mm -hmm. and I was done for the month. And I was like, hold up. <laughs> I just <laughs> made that, and I'm like, I'm, that's what started it. And yeah. I was like, okay. I said, okay, okay, yeah. let me, let me, let, what if I had five of those? Mm -hmm. And now we're standing on 12, 13 dealerships now. Wow. Yeah, that's it's amazing. Awesome. It, was, it was amazing. And that, that was in 20, 2020. Okay. In, uh, I started in... 2019 December and um, ever since then I've been by myself. Wow. So so just let, let me make sure I'm hearing this right. Mm -hmm. So the company you was working for. Yep. Gasoline and Nissan. You was working for that company and they utilize your skills and your gifts in regards to recording from a video. Just having fun with video. Having fun with video. Mm -hmm. They used that and said, you know what? I'm going to take your skill. I'm going to cut you a completely separate check. Correct. That's because right. Because this ain't got nothing to do with you being an employee here. Right. This is your own thing. So I'm gonna cut you a second check. That's right. For you doing this as a service for us. Correct. Through crank, you know, crank marketing agency. That's right. And at that point, the dollar signs oh, made yeah. you have a uh -huh. Oh, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so there's one part that I gotta say, if I, if I, if you don't mind. No, at there, all. There's, go ahead. One, there's one part I gotta say is that uh, when I started doing videos and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a phone worthy enough to video. Come on, phone. So my first video is me singing, and it's my homeboy's phone. It's you, my homeboy's phone. You had phone. to borrow somebody's phone, somebody phone with better quality. I had to borrow somebody else's phone with better quality. Then, 
I eventually got a good phone right, right. four years later. But the fact that they cut you a check using somebody's phone. Well, that's my thing, is that <laughs> this happened. My, my, company, it, my company started um, on me using my phone. Mm -hmm. I didn't wait to get $7,000 cameras. Yep. My first contract, my first contract was, uh, I can be transparent about this. I'm saying this because, so it can be tangible to somebody. Facts. That's why I'm saying this. Facts. It's not to, you gotta, it's, it's tangible to say, you gotta say these numbers because other people, you, you, I want it to be raw to somebody. Right, right, right. I'm in the office in, um, I'm in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I'm in the office and the guys, you know, we're negotiating, talking about the deal. He says, okay, you know, Crank, we heard what you did in Gastonia, we like what you did. We're going to give you two of our stores. Mm -hmm. Good to go. $7,000. Wow. $7,000 $7, right there. Mm. He said, so um, when you want to start, let's get, get your equipment and, and let's get to going. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> and I'm, for those listening, I held up my, my phone. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm ready. He's like, he said, no, no, no. There's no way that you were doing what you were doing on your phone. Say yes, sir. I was doing it on my phone the whole time, and he said some different choice words. But what he said was, he said, "Son, no yeah. disrespect." He said, "Well, I'm with you." He said, "But if you go, somebody gonna pay you the amount of money we pay you, you need to go get some equipment." Right, right. I went and bought some equipment that week, mm -hmm. but for two months on his lot, I would just carry the equipment on the on the lot, and then use my phone. That's a message to tell somebody: start now. Yes. Do not wait. Start with what you have. And, and you know what? The beautiful thing behind that as well, too, um, because as a content creator myself, mm. you know, it is it is a whole learning curve mm -hmm. to try to learn different equipment, different softwares, different programs, and trying to keep up with different trends. 100%. Like, that is a full-time job in and of itself. Like, your mind is constantly moving, right? Mm -hmm. So the beautiful thing behind what you said is you 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 invested in the equipment because your 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 hiring person yeah know, yeah yeah they, the they client told, yeah the client the client, the client yeah, says hey you gotta look the part yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying the content that you mm -hmm. got we already like mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you still have to look the part right so with that said you know you guys make sure you're investing in yourself to look the part but like Tarek also said as well. Use what you have, yes, sir. but open yourself to learning other yes. different things so that you can be applicable. It can be applicable in other spaces. Amen. You know, and I think that's really cool. And so, you know, that kind of brings me to another point because that's a challenge in and of itself. You know, like mm -hmm. trying to figure out, oh my God, I got this new client, but I'm not really resourceful or not really necessarily, I'm not really educated in the knowings of how to be in that industry like they want me to, mm -hmm. right? I know how to do it based off of me. And you like my content, you like the way I do it, mm -hmm. but the, the doors of the universe are opening a bigger platform for me. So how, uh, what are some of the challenges that you had to overcome while in this business of yours? Some of the challenges I had to overcome, um, Truthfully, I can tell you that the, one of the main things that, that, that I dealt with is running business. Mm. So I'm a talent. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like I'm a talent, talent. Like I'm the person that does the jokes and mm -hmm. joking around and all those things, making videos, doing all that stuff. Oh, it's funny, everything like that. Now it's like, okay, you need to do your LLC. You need to, uh, we got to establish this, uh, set the appointment. What, what are you using for this? And, I'm like, oh, no, I don't know. I didn't know that part very well. Yeah. Because I was just, I was always, um, I was always pushed along because of my skill set. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was just good. Yeah. So um, that's the part that I that I started to learn. I started reaching out to my friends that, that were uh, my mentors, Jeff Viner, the owner of Gastonia Nissan, um, a real good friend of mine, Dawood Muhammad, um, my, my largest client, whom is uh, Marcus Johnson, Johnson Automotive, largest black, one of the largest black um, automotive groups in the nation. Dope, dope. In the nation. <laughs> in the nation. That's what's up. Um, I started reaching out to those guys, and um, they gave me they gave me some of the tools to 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 make business better. Mm. That's what it was. So I reached out to them. So I would say the true challenge is is working the business parts of it, 
the true business parts of it. Yeah, um, I, I think it, it was said one time, uh, there's a difference between working in your business versus working on your business. Good Lord. You know, and I, I, I kind of had, that thing had to kind of sit with me a little bit because I'm like, man, what is the difference, mm -hmm. right? Because when you're working in your business, you're doing exactly that, you're in it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, you are the one that is making the business go. That's right. And especially from an entrepreneur standpoint, most times when you're just starting out, you are the hat that, you are several hats. Yeah, you yeah. Are, you know, you are the shooter, the editor, the producer, the director. That's right, that's right, <laughs> you you're know, everything. You, you are all of that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't have time, if you're doing all of that in the business to make it go, you don't really have that 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 um, time or that balance to understand you have to work on the foundation Correct. of what the business is. Correct. I got to get my email set up. I got to right. get my website set up. I got to make sure I got customer care. Customer, customer care. Customer care. Is your, I got to say it right fast. Oh, no, David Taylor, David, Mr. David Taylor, uh, awesome mentor of mine. Um, he is the uh, president of the Harvey Gantt. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we, you met him last I, night. I, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, awesome. you met him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, so, he told me we were in my studio, and he said to me, he said, he said, um, one thing that you need to you need to pay attention to is you need to nurture what you have and your clients now. Because mm -hmm. I'm just going. Yeah. <laughs> and he said this to me. He said, you, I want you to always know somebody's always selling your client. Yes. Yes. It happened the week after he said that to me. Reality check right there. Right, right after. And then I had to calm down, say mm -hmm. to myself, no, nurture you. Yeah, you may, whatever it is you may be doing, food, uh, cutting hair, um, DJing, whatever it may be, hosting a party, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. Ma'am, sir, thank you so much for this opportunity yep. to do this here with you. Slow down. Yep. Thank you so much. Yep. Two weeks later. Again, I had an amazing time. That follow-up. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, it, it, you, you may not believe any of what you're saying. But you you got to maintain the relationship. Yeah, you're, you're, I mean, you really got to say, I'm grateful for the business that we did. Yes, absolutely. I'm grateful. Every time Stay I, in the pocket. Every time I leave Chick-fil-A when they say it's a pleasure serving you, come on. I lose my mind. Come on. I can't wait to come back. Come on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I can't That's wait. Right. And and, and right. I have to make sure that I, ap I apply those same principles mm -hmm. to my own business. That's right. That follow-up, that customer service, mm -hmm. that making sure I had an available phone line, yeah. making sure I had a tax accountant, mm -hmm. you know, because you're in it. So you don't realize I get all, I'm getting all this money flowing my way. How am I going to manage this? How am I going to manage the flow of it? How, I don't right. know anything about business taxes. Who you don't Shout have out to miles on a Ferrari, my my guy, my guy, you my know, tax like guy. You guys have to you you got to line those things up. So definitely, you know, something that these entrepreneurs, especially the aspiring entrepreneurs, um, are out here and they're listening to these things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, they're looking for advice and they're looking for mentors. They're looking for knowledge mm -hmm. and they're looking for empowerment and encouragement to kind of help them get to the next level. So with that said, what advice? would you give a new or expiring entrepreneur, Tark? Yeah, my, my advice to somebody was, it, it really would be, like I've always said, start, do it now. Mm. Grab the resources. God played that commercial in your head, the idea. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Don't wait. Don't wait till you get the big camera. Don't wait till you, don't don't wait for all of these things to get perfect and pretty. Yeah. Because it's never going to get perfect yeah. and pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to get perfect and pretty. I've seen it. I've seen it on. You've seen it in tons of different places. Mm -hmm. All the all these big buildings and the, I've seen dealerships. I've seen big places. We're in a mall. Yeah. I've seen tons of ideas that people come together, five and six different people, banks, yeah. to decide on this business, and it doesn't make it. Mm -hmm. Just go. Just go. That's my advice: is to go and do what you say you want to do. Now, Tarek, my question for you is how can people find you and purchase your products or services um, that you that you have for Crank Marketing Agency? Yes, indeed. Um, www.crankmarketingagency.com. And on all platforms, I am Tarek Crank, T-A-R-I-K-C-R-A-N-K-E. Um, that's every in every platform. It's not spelled any other way. All right, awesome. Well, you guys heard it here, right here, live with Luna Love. I had the amazing pleasure of discussing Crank's marketing, marketing agency yes, with indeed. the amazing...
powerful, versatile Tarek Crank. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks, sis. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna listen. Me, grateful. Me and Tarek gonna do some things in Gaston, in North Carolina, turn the city upside down, roundabout. We ain't get to say VKC. I ain't get to say VKC. What's up, with y'all out there? Hey. And I'm with the uh, West Coast. So I don't know why I start talking West Coast. <laughs> West Coast out here. I thought you was gonna start throwing gang signs right, right. up too. I didn't Western know what part was about of, Western part of Gastonia. Shout out to my cousin Big LA, Antoine Weed. <laughs> but yeah. VKC is a live band that is amazing. Like they yes, they, they do Thank some you. listen and, and I'm